G'day and welcome back to the Pillars of Ranternity. It's time once again to head into the frozen north and deal with what shenanigans people have been getting up to there. Last time around, we cleared off a section of map mostly. We kind of yeah. died to a dragon a series of times. Uh, but we also picked up this cursed sword. Uh, he should be wielding it, yeah. The Grey Sleeper. And it's one of the new weapons that the um, expansion introduces. It introduces this concept of soulbound weapons, which basically means you're stuck with whoever gets it. Uh, but this is also a cursed soulbound weapon. So we will actually be able to do things with. Like, we can't unequip it right now. Uh, and there's kind of a quest associated with it. Soulbound weapons in general have some way of improving it. So we can see this uh, verse that appeared when the blade was drawn from its pedestal. Seek the whirling agent made of copper adra stone. Awaken your first essence so that you may atone. So the thing I find kind of silly about all that is that is not at all what Adir has Just associated with him. But I guess everything in this world revolves around us, so it's probably to do with us. And where did we awaken? So let's chase this. I'm pretty sure we have to actually leave the frozen north, but whatevs. Okay, so we just want to get out of town. That's right, she's got that. That's nice. Okay, so... If we go, uh, wait, no. Um, Deerwood. So we, I'm pretty sure, want to go here to Silant Lees. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like all RPGs, as it says. Ev yeah, okay, sweet. So stuff happened while we traveled. Uh, hirelings were paid. And we have a wanted criminal who's arrived at the stronghold. So we'll go deal with that in a moment. Uh, firstly, we want to move on to a new upgrade. Do we get towers? Um, I think that might be an idea. The other option would be to go for a mechanics bonus. Um... Or just to look at these things. If I just want to deal with security based things, towers would be a good choice. They also take three days. So yeah, we'll totally do towers. Because um, I think there's just going to be a lot of traveling. So, what it, what's this? The Estic seems to hum as it nears the Inwithin machine. Something arcs between the steel blade and Adra core of the ancient device. The voices in the Estic grow quieter and the weapon feels more powerful. New writing appears along the blade. The Grey Sleeper. Decipher the second verse. So, um, I should have paid more attention to this, but it's still got a chance to paralyze. It's accurate, grants slow spirits, so that reduces their enemy attack speed and move speed for 15 seconds. Three times a day? Not bad. Find the sun-kissed hillocks where the dead folks sleep. Rest beside their wasting flesh. Inspect what dreams you reap. Okay, yeah. there's a graveyard. We've been to that graveyard. Uh, where was it? Was it in Estenwood? I think it was in Estonwood. <laughs> okay, yep. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, here we are, graveyard. Just in case there's monsters or anything. We're in fast mode anyway, so... Am I right? I mean, this is where the dead sleep. Why there's all of these things. I guess I'm wrong. 
Let me see that item again. Uh, you. Okay. Sun-kissed hillocks where the dead folk sleep in rest beside their wasting flesh. Okay, so there's nowhere to directly rest. I'm gonna save and we'll use one of our camping supplies and see if anything happens. Because it does say rest, not just show up. The loamy squir soil squishes underfoot and something invisible seems to rise from it. You detect essence, faint and barely sup? Perceptible, drifting up from the graveyard, the grey sleeper seems to feed on it, and strange voices grow quieter still. Another verse gleams in the steel. Okay. The final verse. Of course, the rule of three. And this now has a chance to invoke vessels on people it hits, which means it will summon people. About one in twenty. Okay. Fingers of the world, Adra strong and whole, kneel before the pillars, bring order to your soul. Okay, oh, and also this is giving us experience, and guess who leveled? Hey, how you going? Um, do we want to give him more lore? Do we want to give him some of these other things? Um, so this would boost his second win by 5 HP. Uh, or do we just leave it for the next time he levels? I don't really think I could be bothered doing that one, but let's do a little bit more athleticism. Okay, so he's got two new spells. So what do we got? Form of Helpless Beast will uh, transform an enemy. Single Kith enemy, so it has to be a humanoid enemy. That's kind of sucky honestly a uh, wall of force is a barrier which hurts enemies but not friends torrent of flame does an aoe centered on the caster i don't like that uh, innovating terror basically terrifies foes bit of mooring um hit with the affliction and an energy so basically it links it Freezes the target, links them with Aloth, and then there's, like, damage to anyone that stands between them. That's interesting. This is just a raw damage cloud. Virulent poison, but it's not poison, it's raw. Uh, okay, sure, I don't know why it's not, like, corrode or something, but whatever. Uh, that seems reasonable. This one is a contingency spell, which, uh, yeah, that could be helpful. Spirit Lance. What do we got? Uh, just summons a big old pike and a foe-only blast explosion. That could be interesting. Blast of Frost is a cone. Yeah. Uh, Wondrous Torment is... Okay. A bouncing effect. That could be pretty cool. I'm gonna try both of these. We'll see how we go. And Spell Mastery, which means that we get a first level spell that can be used every encounter. Uh, do we want damaging missiles or do we want something else? Wizards Double would be kind of useful. Um... So to make him, it's a nice defensive ability, or do we want a single target? I d ooh, actually I like that one. Okay. We'll see if any of these are good choices. Now, we need to move on. So can I just do this? No, I do need to actually be at a travel point, like this one. So, fingers of Adra. There are literal fingers of Adra in Cade Nua. So that seems like a very simple one to go for. And there's someone who's hanging around waiting for us to show, so let's go there. Easy. No worries. Let's see. Spirits in this place have begun to heal. Yeah. We keep building things. Okay, pillars. And there's like the various people we've hired. 
Aha! A deep and mighty power emanates from the Adra Pillars. It resonates in the Grey Sleeper. Kneel. As you kneel, the voices in the Grey Sleeper reach a low, peaceful harmony. A final surge of energy fills the blade and the voices fall silence. You feel the curse snap like a rotten cord. Completed the quest! Okay, uh, so... The... What does... Do we have anything else? And, a penance now complete, a burden now a gift. Keep this weapon at your side to remind you of your shrift. And chance to so it's now superb accuracy plus forty five percent damage. Chance to cast twin stones on hit or critical hit. Ooh, those are that's some pretty nice effects. One in twenty on so anytime he hits, there are three different effects that have a chance to trigger. The question I have is, is it a single dice roll where only one of those three can show up, or is it three separate dice rolls? It'd be interesting to do the maths, I'm not going to, uh, but I think it would be interesting to do, and there's no way to do any enchantment here. Because as you can see, there are 23 of 14, so I literally can't make it any better. Yeah. And hey, to the waterline completed. After traveling north from Godhammer Citadel, Sagani arrived in the Red Karen cit port city of Benholt. Several of the pirates had landed there and saw much of their stolen booty. Tips and rumors from merchants and criminal elements led Sagani to the Bone Isles. I'll take you to the Bone Isles, if you know what I mean. A small archipelago northwest of Red Karras. The more foolhardy pirates put up a fight, but most of them fled with small scraps of cargo. In the end, Sagani managed to recover over half of what was stolen. One item, a small curious diving bell, went unclaimed by the conglomerate of merchants that had paid for the recovery. So we get... A diving helmet, which is airtight, and ooh, that could be very useful, even though it does reduce that. This diving helmet appears to be an Avalian ex experiment in assisted underwater exploration that only holds a small amount of air. A clever magical enchantment pressurizes the bell enough for, to allow for deeper dives than are normally possible. Sweet. And then we can go and talk to Nuri. Can do. Come on. I said open the door. You gotta click on the actual icon. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Who are you? Here. Okay. So firstly... Was it there? No was in the other chamber. I'm pointing at things in midair, which is not actually very helpful. And we haven't done the library yet, so that's irrelevant. We also haven't had any attacks from below yet. I wonder what triggers them. Okay, so if we go here, we can get our stuff. So here is the Ikigbir Tomb Fragment, which is a next slot item, makes us better against spirits, but increases endurance but drops health. Yeah, that seems useful. Uh, here's our helmet that I mentioned before. Here is the Rod of Wind and Thunder. That also looks pretty cool. Uh, do, 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 do you. Let's give you... And then we've just got cash and potions. Sounds good. Uh, you, what's Lead up? The way. Name's Neri, begging your pardon and all, my lady, but I was hoping we could talk. Very well, let's hear it. You call your allies together and motion for the petitioners to step forward. So, might be I got myself nicked here and there for a few unsavory deeds. My name's on all posters over Defiance Bay now. Makes it harder to walk about freely, if you get me. 
My thinking is, it's time for me to seek out new horizons. Dead fire archipelago seems nice. Then I'm out of everyone's hair. Only, I could use some help getting there. Not that I'm asking you to do this for free, mind. I picked up a couple things from a fellow I know. Not much good to me if I'm caught. Um, well, uh, arguably I should basically do one of these two, but let's go with the top one. I knew you could do a boss. I mean, milady, what's the plan? Uh, let's go with... Here, here's enough cash. Ilias tits, that's real generous of you. I'll get myself to the harbor right off, I won't forget this, and I owe you one. Neri clasps her hands together in a grateful gesture, and all but jogs out of the hall. So we got a potion of power and a cape of the cheat. And she's gone. Okay, so, what's that? Look, oh the cheat, I guess sure that's... Thing. Didn't go in here, so... Where would that... Ah, uh, there. So, Grant's escape once per encounter, which is immune to engagement, so you can just avoid attacks of opportunity. And means that we get missed more often. This simple cape was the property of a young gambler who made a living at dice. She played and cheated away across the deerwood, and she was playing a game off with the off-duty soldiers at Hell's Gate Citadel when an extra die clattered out of her sleeve. She fled and the drunken soldiers at the table grabbed their weapons and gave chase. The alarm went up across the citadel and the gambler dodged spears and arrows of the emerging guards as she made her way to the edge of the island. When she reached the cliff, she skidded to a halt, cast a single glance at the pursuing soldiers and tumbled into the sea. Half of the guards on duty that night tried to claim credit for the arrow or spear that must have knocked her into the water when they retrieved her, crepe from the, her cape from the branch that, that had snagged it. They found it was whole. Her body was never found. Yeah, we got a lot of cash now, which is one of the reasons why it's like, well, I can give you. I can give you a grand. No worries. Is that better than this one? Which makes us take less damage from cold things. Which seems like it would be useful in the north, but is it more useful than just literally taking less damage? Uh, but you know what? Let's give it to Idea, our tank. Just say the word. Okay, now, let's go back north. That was an interesting diversion. And, I mean, it gave us a bunch of XP for absolutely no fighting. Uh, I can't say I can object to any of that. So let's go. Alrighty. Indeed. So, what do we have? We have one thing building that will be done in 22 hours. So, we leave... Come on. Dig dig, chop chop. Yeah, I'm fine with this roster. White March, Stalwart Village, Long Falls, one day. 24 hours. Yeah, we'll do that. I still don't get what prisoners are even for. I've just found no use. Okay, here we go. So, uh, we have Solma the Shackler, a slaver from Red Karras, has arrived requesting a prisoner to buy. He was nearly set upon by brigands on the road, but your patrols intervened. That's great to have uh, our pa patrols protecting them. Hmm. On the other hand, I could accept money to sell this hired thug into slavery. No. No, I'm not doing that. And we should have had our building complete, yes. So, what else are we going to build? We can build the hedge maze. That's the last thing that adds more defense. I mean... Hopefully that means that we will stop having any negative events along those lines. Uh, 
Or we could start going for the stuff that gives us cash. And, you know, I do like me some cash. You know, let's go with some of those uh, other effects. So, like, botanical gardens and maybe the training grounds. Okay. Um, right. No, I wanted to leave now. You must gather your party before venturing forth. It was just a convenient stop, so I could get the next building done. Um, here we go. Wait, let's see. If I go over here, is there a particular location that shows up? I still need to fight the dragon. I just need to be better. Oh, hello. Fine. He hasn't had any effects show up. That's a pity. Oh. Fine. Oh yes, he got paralyzed. Sweet! Come on. Thank you. Come on! Come on! Everyone kill him. Yeah. I'll take that stuff. Nice and quiet. I thought we killed everyone. Literally everyone. Oh well, whatever. Apparently, at least trolls can come back or something. Who knows? So if we go east, what's east? Anything? Eula? Okay, so Durgan's battery. That was kind of the focal point that I had. So I guess I'll go Durgan's. Durg's, as it will. How much time we got left? We've been going for a bit over half an hour, so let's go. All right, Hyling's got paid. That's cool. Some uh, ran off, which is also fine. Don't care about him. Quest update: a good haul. Uh, find the Legafit and her artifacts. Okay, gotcha. More lag of faith. Ugh. They are my least favorite, mostly because um, I don't have a good way of dealing with the paralysis. If you do know a good way of dealing with the paralysis, let me know. It would be real helpful. That. This is what I want. Whisper here. I shall listen for them. Hey, Staggos! I've got something over here! That is pretty cool. Gimme? Oh, I see how this is now. I mean, admittedly, I can't say I'm that surprised. So you yell, um, you say nay. You... Um... Why don't I try... This... Just so I know how that works... And you... Are already here... Ooh, bang! Okay... You could probably do with not being dead. Um... What's taking so long now? Oh, nice. Okay, now you back up. I mean, I don't think this has worked out that well for the stags. Just say the word. I gotta say, 
Hey, did we just have a summon happen there? Nice. Just say the word. Okay. That's all worked out way better than it could have. <laughs> okay, now we've had that fight, I can have a look at that ring. Nine foot, nine reflex, nine will. So, this is giving me through resolve. That's actually a really nice stat boost. Uh, this is giving me damage reduction and defense against a bunch of different attacks. Um, and that's giving me plus two reflex. Plus the dex. Da, da, da. Uh, don't actually want to get anything rid of anything there. But I mean, you're not even wearing a ring. Uh, and I don't think anything else is boosting you. Oh, the braces is a deflection. Uh, because that already get No, that doesn't affect our deflection at all. Okay, Just sounds good. Word. That was interesting. Uh, didn't... I mean, I knew that they were meant to be there and it was meant to be at least unsettling. But I didn't actually expect them to all just turn hostile. I expected them to transform at least, or do something, rather than just be like, you desecrated a corpse in front of us. Now we will all murder you. Oh well, them's the breaks. This is a fantasy world with fantasy rules for fantasy reasons. Fantasy. So we're just going to keep exploring the lower part. Wow, this is a bigger map than I thought. Okay. Um, <laughs> oof. I don't really want to fight them. But I guess I am. Okay, you guys. Now. Uh, do, 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 do. Are you guys immune to dominate? No. Have you tried all being dominated? It's a thing. No para no paralysis on my guys. Thank you very much. You're mine. Petrified. That's not ideal. Good thing it's temporary. Leave it to me. Good thing this isn't uh, Baldur's Gate, yeah. where that would have been permanent. Okay, sweet. That fight's done. Give me. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep ourselves. Okay. This seems so much easier than the last area. Did I actually turn down the difficulty? I don't remember. The last area was just... Oh. So many frickin' lag of faith. Ah. Hi there. Crag ogres. Hmm. Let's move on. I mean, I could deal with them as the last thing on the episode. Yeah, why not? We'll give it one go. And besides, they killed Lego Fate. That's fine. Like, like that's... Stench. Even worse when dead. Got him and Brit. Run along, little mouse. Okay, sure. We found a cave! Is this one of the other exits? From the cave we went into previously? Nope. Well. I guess we'll explore this ice cave next time. Until then, well, here's a preview. Bye! 
Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending the time and effort watching the videos I make. Uh, if you'd like to watch more, on the left there should be another video from this playlist. On the right there will be whatever YouTube recommends. And in the center there is a convenient subscribe button just in case you need it.